And now we'll go into coding. For the coding, you'll need a program to compile the files with, um, which will be able to run the game. You can open the, the basic code files with Notepad or anything, or WordPad, but you wouldn't be able to yeah, to actually test any of the changes. So we'll download the free edition of uh, Microsoft Visual C++. It's the code style in which uh, Elipos is written in. And you can download it here, this link. I'll give it next to the video too. And just install it basically and um, don't care. <laughs> well, then you need um, the code for Elipos, which is quite old since Elipos 1 is written in the 2000s. And then back then they worked with um, Visual Studio 6. So the files you'll find on the default files will be outdated ones which won't work with the latest version of Visual C Express. So I created a special package which only changed uh, some yeah, the things to adapt the code to this new version. So we'll download that. I already did it and then extract it somewhere you like. Then you'll see uh, this. It will be the general structure of the game. I'll go and set later, but just open the efsvmod.dsw file. Just say yes, yes, whatever. And then you will have to open sure, the project. Of course, this is single player, I will go into it first. The multiplayer is quite the same, but um, for easy testing and easy editing, I will start with single player, which is more basic. So you see it here, it has the game and the um, UI, which is the menu. And um, for some basic structure again, this contains the client side, which will handle things like yeah, everything that's done by the client. So not game related, like drawing things, moving, uh, entities, well, I'll explain it later, effects. And these are the header files, which just contain like links to everything. You see there are a lot of files and they want to use things from each other. So in order to do that you have header files which as you see will point to the other things. I know it sounds a bit difficult right now but we'll have to become clear to you later. We're just I'm just giving you a head start on the moment. But here you have the yeah, Icarus which will not be very important. It's a very complex code just about running scripts which we don't want to change. The most important things would be these, the source files. Um, as you'll see, these are things that will actually change the game. So if we like open G weapon, let's give a weird example. Um, well, if you browse through it, I don't think this will make any sense to you. But even, you'll notice that even for beginners you can change things. Like you say, um, well, I want to change something with the compression rifle. Then we go look for compression rifle. And press so, here's the compression rifle. And we see that they made it quite easy for you, like the damage is stated in separate things above. So this would be the spread, so the randomness, and this would be the amount of damage you actually do. This won't make any sense to you, it doesn't really matter. And like here, yeah, so I mods and stuff. Or scavenger, which you can even change a lot more. Spread, velocity, damage, ease, damage, damage. You know, if you want like really super quick quantum burst bullets, you'll go like change velocity to 90,000. Well, let's just try that. You save it. Then you go to build. And then, in your case, you, you would always choose to build. Oh, um, wait. Sorry, a little escape. You also want this to be on final build. It will create a, a DLL uh, compatible for playing. Debug is not really important right now, so you want to be this to be on final build. And then you go build the game. In your case, it will start compiling everything since it's the first time. It's not true either. Since my pack includes the 
object files already, which are needed. But normally you would have to build everything. If you change the header file, you would also need to change everything since the interrelated things change. But now it's already done. So you go to your um, mod code file, and you notice that this folder um, now exists. It, it contains the DLLs. And the one we changed is of course the game. As you can see, um, it's the game. So you're copying this, and then going into your Elite Force directory, and just make a copy of your old file and paste a new one in here. Now we don't want that. Paste the new one. Oh, it's really working with me. Oh, there it is. And if you now would start the game, which I'm not going to get into, um, you would get really fast Soton torpedoes. You really see it. So that's a bit of the basics of coding. Next episode, I will go into how coding works. So, a bit of a sweet course on how C works. But if you see this, that you have to understand a bit what it means. So this will be for the next episode. I hope you like this first episode. If you have any comments or suggestions or anything, just mail them, like always, on www.efreview.net. And um, have a nice day.